Ever lose an earring, Don? Um, no, I've I've thought about an earring. But Have you thought about getting an earring? Yep. Did you get the pirate kind of look? I could see that. <laughs> the one yeah, earring. Look a lot like Johnny Depp. <laughs> I have I have stepped on a lost oh, earring. I bet you. I had them embedded in my feet on more than I one occasion. I bet you did. I suspect one of your girls has lost earrings. No doubt. And perhaps you witnessed some commotion or emotion because of that. As crazy as it seems, losing an earring can be downright upsetting. I'm just going to check. Okay, I've got You're both of mine. Both I'm good. And many women refuse to part with the other half of the pair. Oh, I have a little collection. Yes. Uh, Emily Duaro has been thinking about that. And as a jeweler, she decided it was a theme worth exploring. Her exhibit, To Have and to Hold, is on display at the Mary E. Black Gallery in Halifax. Margot Brunel dropped by. Hi, Emily. Hi. I don't think there's anybody who hasn't bemoaned, or I guess anybody among the female population, bemoaned the loss of an earring. But how did you come up with this idea? Um, I think it really stems back to this one pair of earrings I had as a child. I loved big dangly earrings and uh, lost one on the playground and was just devastated. Had my mom take me back to the playground. We searched and we searched and we couldn't find it. And I still have that earring to this day. I started mentioning this to a couple girlfriends and couple people, everyone instantly sort of related or instantly thought of an earring they already had and of that same situation, yeah. And they're not even necessarily the most valuable earrings. They, it's just hard to part with the one that's left, isn't it? Exactly. No, you're, you're exactly right. They aren't. What, what do you think it is that makes us want to hold on to the, the survivor? <laughs> I guess hope, whether it be hope to find it or, um, and then reinvention as well. I had some people say that they would just, you know, take parts of it apart and make two new earrings or uh, wear mismatch earrings, that sort of idea as well. And there's no reason why we don't do, we can't do that. You know, I was reading in the book there that somebody says she always wears mismatched earrings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I've even found through a little bit of research too, you know, uh, people reinventing the earrings, making them into like craft projects of other sorts. And you've done that with a couple of pieces here. Uh, yes, for sure. Uh, these stories have definitely inspired uh, new earrings, I guess you could say, is yeah, and new pieces of jewelry. Do you wear earrings every day? I do, yeah. Sometimes jewelers don't wear much jewelry because it can hinder the process of making jewelry. Um, Why do you say that? Well, taking off safety masks and respirators, my earrings have gone flying before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I definitely, uh, it's one of those things, I don't like leaving the house without a pair of earrings yeah, on. Yeah, I'm like that too. And I'm very conscious of whether they're on. It's as if somebody is tapping me on the shoulder when it's gone, and I immediately start looking. Yes, yeah. It's an obsessive compulsive disorder <laughs> or something. <laughs> yes. I was at a shopper's drug mart one time, and uh, an employee there was sent her coworker, can you please just go buy me a pair of earrings from the store? She's like, I forgot my earrings and I feel naked. <laughs> so it's, We are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> to have and to hold. Why'd you call the exhibit to have and to hold? Um, I guess it, to me, it's very much resonated with the idea of why people collect. It's sort of to have these objects and also to hold them. I was very inspired by the way people sort of display them in their home and um, why we surround ourselves with these items that, like you mentioned earlier, don't necessarily have much monetary value, yeah. but so many other different types of values, whether it be sentimental, or nostalgia, and whatnot. You remember who gave them to you? you? You remember where you bought them? You remember the exact spot? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and w probably a little bit of why you bought that, why you were attracted to it yeah. as well. I, I definitely have some singles left at home, yeah. too. <laughs> um, I want you to read it as a couple of sure. little stories here that you've collected. You've got a guest book out so people can add stories about lost earrings. Tell us this story here. I have a beautiful pair of diamond earrings that were a gift from my husband after the birth of my son. Several years ago, while we were staying at our apartment in Salzburg, Austria, I lost one of the earrings. I was bereft. I had been carrying in laundry from our drying line and had towels over my shoulder. And that's always what happens, right? It's like scarves or towels or something exactly, like that, yeah. and there it goes. Yeah. And, they, and they searched everywhere for it. Everywhere, yes. 
Several days had passed, and we were on our way to the playground across from our apartment, and my husband noticed something shining in the sun in the parking lot. Uh This is a busy place with cars and two large apartment buildings uh, passing back and forth several times a day. Garbage trucks, delivery trucks, bikes, very, very busy parking lot. And sure enough, that was the earring. It was fate. I always think it's fate when you find something like that. Yeah, and these certainly, uh, she sent me a picture of these ones, and they looked uh, fairly valuable yeah, as right. well, so you really would want to <laughs> there was a little bit of the, yeah, and she still has them to this day mm. there 's another very sentimental, sad story over here, actually yes, this story um, I was so glad she ended up sending it to me. Tony Shapiro. How did she know that you were collecting the story? Yeah, she's actually a colleague of my father's. My father was quite intrigued by this. He's um, very much into uh, literacy and loved the idea of storytelling. So Tony tells the story of her father who was dying of cancer. Here's what she says. In the last days before his death, he had asked my mother to bring him a large box that he kept in the closet. He wanted me to sit with him when he opened it. When he pulled back the cover, this is what I saw. Piles and piles of earrings, big ones, small ones, sparkling and dull, dangles and studs, beautiful and ugly, ostentatious and plain, pierced and non-pierced, and all of them with no mates. All single. Yes. For many years, I watched him searching the floors and the streets of wherever he was. He always seemed to be on a treasure hunt of some sort. It was a serious business. On occasion, I would see him bend down and put something in his pocket. I always thought it was money. Sitting close to him that day, looking at the earrings together, I could see that he was thrilled with his treasure box. He played with those earrings most of that day and kept the box with him while he slept. The following day, he offered the box to me. He died a few days later. Whenever I hear that someone has lost an earring, I wonder if it was sitting in my dad's treasure box. That's a great story. Yeah. I I think I'm going to start doing that now, (laughs) picking them up and saving them. You've also got a box of singles here. Yes. I had come across this large amount of costume jewelry and uh, right away thought of this back to this story and thought it was a perfect complement to this piece. So I'm asking people to make a pair or add to their collection. Great idea. I'm sure there's, there's lots of people who can contribute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if they're willing to part. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's really a neat story. Thanks a lot for sharing it with us. Thank you very much. Beautiful jewelry. Thanks. Margot Brunel with jeweler Emily Duaro. Her exhibit, To Have and to Hold, is at the Mary E. Black Craft Gallery until May 25th, and that's at 1061 Marginal Road. It's just a short hop from the Seaport Farmer's Market.